The American dream has many faces, and some of them are in this illustrated volume, Germans in America, third in our list of favorites this week. Eight million Germans have gone to the United States since the year 1608, looking for work, fame, or liberty. For some, like this Jewish immigrant, it was a matter of survival. Gunter Klutzer has photographed and interviewed people with German roots living in America and asked them which country they feel at home in and what they like about the land of opportunity. A delightful book of photographs and a document of German-American relations are number three. Our second tip delves into the history of an island that's now part of Tanzania, Zanzibar Blues, or How I Found Livingstone, by writer, literary critic, and journalist Hans Christoph Buch. In this novel, Buch links Zanzibar with German history, from colonialism in what was then German East Africa, to the Cold War, when spies from East and West were active on the island. The slave trade, rebellions, and abductions from the Seraglio. Here, real historical figures meet fictitious ones. It's an adventurous story, beautifully told. Zanzibar Blues, or How I Found Livingstone, are number two. But our favorite this week is the latest edition of the Literaturführer Deutschland, a literary guide to Germany. You can trace Brecht's footsteps in Berlin or meet Schiller and Goethe in Weimar. Twenty years after the fall of communism, this new edition covers all of Germany. There's plenty to discover, a museum dedicated to the romantic poet Eduard Mörike in the village of Clever Sulzbach, for instance. Even in the smallest of places, this standard guide reveals nuggets of literary history. Fairy tales and sagas are brought to life with pictures and quotations. From Aachen to Zwota, it's a must for the well-read traveler. The Literaturführer Deutschland, a true classic for those who love to read German.